Okay, so I want to show you my needle shuriken, all right? Why would an adult want to play with these? Um, why not just throw darts? Well, um, I think they take a little more skill than throwing darts, and if you're into ninjas and martial arts, this is kind of like a little way to have fun with that. And it's just fun, and you could do it you know inside at home on a rainy day and um, it doesn't cost you anything okay I made these from a an old coat hanger right it was kind of a heavy duty coat hanger it's made of aluminum um, this this um, stock here is uh, like two and a half millimeters thick okay I it's hard to find I don't have any other hangers like that so you have to look around for the appropriate material it doesn't have to be steel uh, uh, steel it could be aluminum brass whatever you could find okay so um, I sharpened the tip with a file alright and let's see how much these guys weigh okay this one's 10 grams and they're all about the same okay grips alright the problem with these guys is that they're um, they're thin and they're hard to grip consistently. All right, so I mean, I think the most accurate if you try to hold them between your fingers because they're so thin, it's hard to get a consistent release because they're kind of like slipping through your fingers. All right, so I think you need to get a fingertip on there. So the way I think the most accurate way I hold it is like this with my fingertip. Okay, experiment with this kind of grip where it's on your middle finger, whatever you can get the most consistent. So as far as throwing technique, I use the no spin style. All right, it's actually shuriken's taking a quarter turn into the target. I'm not really going to talk about the technique. There's so many good videos on the um, YouTube that do that. So I'll try to post some links for you. If your shuriken is sticking horizontally into your target, that means you have the right amount of rotation for the range that you are from your target. That's This is the best. Okay, If it is um, pointed downwards like the second one, that means it's under rotated. Okay, That means it hasn't had time to spin into the target, so take a little step back. All right, And then if it's pointing down like this, that means it's over rotated so it's spun too far in the air and it's sticking like this alright and this delivers the least amount of energy to your target because most of it is not at the tip most of it is spinning forward at the end here so if this happens consistently you want to take a step forward I just want to talk about the target real quick it's a couple of cardboard boxes that are glued together with Elmer's glue and then a couple of extra pieces of uh, cardboard in the middle that are glued on just for reinforcement for where most of the impacts take place. This will eventually get chewed up and you'll have to, uh, you know, remake one. All right. Uh, it's suspended from a rope. It's just hanging on by a push pin. Okay. So the target is, the target is large enough such that usually I don't miss it but sometimes I still do okay if that happens it might hit some of the clothing in the closet which is mostly old stuff and I've kinda hit the wood around it a few times so if you want to protect your home some more uh, it's a good idea to put more protection okay so let's look at how it's hanging All right. So basically there's two loops around the rope, okay, and then the loops just go around the uh, slots in the cardboard there.